just a quick cappuccino before heading off this morning. Cappuccino. That looks like another miserable day outside. I'm hoping it's going to maybe stay dry for a few hours. Because my, my, my clothes still haven't dried properly, so I'm going to be wearing wet clothes today. But um, obviously if it's not raining, they'll, they should dry when they're on, on me, on my body, because uh, obviously the body heats up and they should uh, I'll dry them off. Except for the sweat. But um, that depends on whether it's got to rain or not. It's pretty windy. Uh, yep, and there was a mouse in the house last night, so I was up at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was up chasing it around the room for half an hour. Uh, trying to catch it for breakfast, but unfortunately it got away, so just stuck. Now we're just, um, all we've got is uh, this cappuccino and some ginger nuts this morning. Keep us going on the trail. Not much else today, really. So that's where I am at the moment. So we'll be heading east, continuing east, till we get to the end of the page. And then we'll be going on to the next map, which is over here. And then we'll be continuing along the river, <coughs> passing the next boffy. And then we'll head north slightly towards Speen Bridge. But we're not going to Speen Bridge. Well, if it's heavy rain, maybe we will. We'll just finish early and go to Speen Bridge. But the plan is to carry on past Loch Treig, uh, down this way, down to Corder Station, then around this way, past Loch Ossian, Ossian, to get to the end of the lock, and then up this way. Oh, I've got a long way to go today. Um, I've got another map, I'm not going to take it out. But the plan is um, to get as far as Kulra Boffy today, which is a boffy that was shut down for asbestos. So I uh, plan is to camp there tonight, if I can get that far. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, uh, that's time to go. I'm not looking forward to this, the weather's still pretty crap out there. But that's been done. And then we get to the next boffy, stop there for a while maybe. See how it goes. Oh well. And as you can see, this is what I've got to look forward to today. It looks rather bleak. I'd rather just stay here. But I've got to get on. So, I'm going to head down there first towards those trees. And then that's where the river is, so follow the river up or down. Uh, I'm not sure, I think it's up towards the next boffy. So um, that's that little house and the trees that I was that I could see from the boffy. Uh, I did want to go across there for a look but I'm not going to be able to cross this I don't think. Uh, it's not that important, it's only an old house and it's obviously uh, a ruin so you can see it from here okay. So I've got to follow this river now downstream and I just hope I don't have to cross it at any point because it's pretty much uncrossable this morning. As you can see we've had a lot of rain here. Pretty much been raining right through the night. And all day yesterday most of it. So we'll just carry on downstream now. Fun. Well, this is actually supposed to be the path. It's kind of turned into a bit of a river. Oh man, look at the river over here. It's just about ready to burst its banks, I think. Oh, 
Oh, I need to get out of here. I'm never going to get to the Boffy because the Boffy's on the other side of the river. No chance. I need to keep walking until I get to the station and then I might decide just to go home. Well, I think that's the Boffy over there. Stonic Boffy coming up. Well, here it is, folks. Stonic Boffy on the wrong side of the river. Um, MBA, you might want to fix that one. You might want to maybe move it over to this side of the river and it might be able to help more people out, you know. Uh, just a suggestion. I'm not having a go. Uh, anyway, it would be useful uh, if I could get to the Boffy. There are some stepping stones, but they're sort of covered by the river which isn't so good. You can see the other side, of the, there's a little path on the other side but no, but the stepping stones aren't there so we're going to just have to keep on going and the rain's just came back on heavy once more so I think I'm going to call it a day once I reach that uh, is it corner station I think I'm just going to end it there I think I can't put up with this Well it would appear that there is a bridge further down but it is quite a distance, it's about three miles downstream so it's not um, worth crossing it to get to that boffy but it's there anyway, just for reference if anybody's walking this route and need to cross there's a bridge further down well, I just looked at the map, apparently we do have to cross this bridge we've got to cross here and then take the track which takes me all the way to Codder Station it looks like an easy path once I cross the bridge and on, get onto the track, so I'm happy about that. And um, we'll just keep going and um, we'll decide what we're going to do at Corridor. Uh, I just spotted this old house here. So I'm going to have a, a look at this first. It looks like an abandoned house. I like abandoned houses. So yeah, we'll just have a quick look and then we'll cross the, cross the bridge. Uh, quite a good little place to camp here um, if, um, as long as there's nobody occupying the lodge I don't think there is, it looks pretty shut down to me a nice view here nice wee place to live Hi, so it's um, 12 miles to Spoon Bridge from here, that other way that I'm not going and I've walked 18 miles in total so far from Fort William Well, as you can see the river is quite rapid today after all this rain, it's stopped for now, but I'm sure it won't be off for long. So, I wouldn't want to fall in there today, that's for sure. So I, I could um, carry on up crossing this bridge and I could go back to that boffy now. Um, they're about three miles or so, but I don't think we're going to do that, do you? We haven't really got time. So here's another sign up here, tell me where I'm going next. Follow this track now and it should lead us to um, the, the train station at Corridor hopefully and the lock's just down there, coming up to the lock the lock, sorry for anybody that leaves a comment and saying what's the lock? it's a, it's a lock right now I don't want any bad comments now because I've said it properly I've said it, I've said the lock we're going to the lock Well, I thought I'd just put on the selfie stick for now just to show you how wet I am how sodden wet I've got on this trip I've not been this wet since my 17th birthday when I lost my virginity So, it's a uh, surpassing lock trig uh, This is it here Well uh, looks about right to me. I think we're going the right way. 
looks lovely. Well, that's me beside the train line now. This line goes to Corridor Station. I can follow the line all the way to the station by taking the path on the right hand side carry on the track, it will take me to Lock or Cyan um, the plan is to pass Lock or Cyan and not go to the station because of the weather, I don't know, I should just go to the station and see where I can get a train to but I can go this way too, it's just a longer route so I might just carry on up the track I think Well, there's the terrain now. Corridor station just over there. Right, so that's um, got Lock Osayan coming up now, just ahead. Another pretty loch. Uh, it's dry at the moment. I think the rain's about to come back on. The minute just looking at the sky, behind me is not looking too great. So uh, I think it's coming for me. It's not so good. There's a, a rat a path here that goes back to Codder Station this way. Um, I don't think I'm going to go because I was thinking about it to see if there are any trains out of here. The problem is that line goes back to Fort William, it doesn't go anywhere near Dalwini. The wind is on the Cairngorms line, so it, it's just going to cost me money. So I'm going to carry on as planned. So we're heading eastwards now, um, eastwards along a nice track. If this track just, if it just stays like this, that'll be fine. Um, the weather's not looking too grand up there, or the clouds are a bit cloudy. Um, we've got a wee oasis to the left here, look at that. Grand, isn't it? Just a wee oasis there in the middle of the hills. And then we've got the way I'm going and it looks miserable. Great! And looking back down to Loch Ossian. That's it there in the background. Seems to be a lot of these um, hydro schemes appearing everywhere now, up in the highlands and that. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I suppose it's good for people, but not around here. But it's not good for the environment, really, is it? Having all these everywhere. Kind of spoils uh, the views. But, that's what's happening now, all over the highlands. And it's back on to the shitty path now. Following the river upstream for some miles. 
along the city path. Here and, um, put this thing in my drink, here is it. Here somewhere, here it is. Aye, so I don't know if you remember earlier, I found this um, apple drink in the abandoned house. So I thought I'd take it, give it a try. It's out of date, but only October 16. It's not too bad, so it's all sealed. So I'm going to put that in my water here, see if it's any good. I need to drink some first. Uh, I need to bring it down to 375. That should do. We'll give it a whirl. Uh, hope it isn't too bad. Lovely. Apple a day keeps the doctor away, as they say. Ooh. Army apple flavour. Give it a wee shake and leave it for a while, I think. Leave it to mature. Leave it to ripen. Well, here goes the taste test. Oh dear. Well, not the best. Not brilliant, but not too bad. I'll leave it a while now. Leave it for half an hour, make sure I don't get poisoned, and then I'll drink the rest. Well, that's river crossing time, folks. And the midges are eating me alive now. Need to get across here, meet up with the other path on the other side. Hey, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go much further, though it's starting to get dark now, so I really need to just find somewhere to pitch up. And that's what my plan is now, get across this river. I made it onto the other path, crossed the river, I got up here. Um, there's not much light left now, as you can see. Uh, one last view, looking back down. There we go, can't see much. Um, that's the last view for tonight. I'm going to have to um, try and pitch up. ASAP, uh, don't know where, so I might have a head torch on soon. So that's the last the last scenes for tonight anyway. Hi, so that's us all pitched up. God knows where we are tonight because it was too dark. But um, I think we're a few miles away from the Kulra Poffy, where I was supposed to be tonight. Uh, probably another three miles to get there, maybe two miles, so I found the best spot here I could find. Not the best really, but I'll have to do it tonight. Um, so I'm pitched up on top of some heather. Um, it's not too bad, the heather, though. I mean, it's not too long. It's alright, I'll show you in the morning. Anyway, that's it for tonight, so um, I might have a noodles, I don't know yet. I'll probably just go to sleep, I think, tonight. I've had enough. Um, get up early tomorrow and make a move to Dalwini. So, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Good night. God bless. Thank you for. Thank you, Almighty One, for this wonderful campsite.